This is the sound fruit on Blocks Fruit. A brand new legendary rarity fruit, and I have managed to get one. It may have taken hours of spinning and a bunch of different accounts, but we are going to be taking this fruit and leveling it to max. But first, sound fruit mugbang. Mmm, delicious. And there we go. We are a tempo master. We've got Rhapsody Notes, which is our first move. And we get our next move, a Mastery 50. And now that we've got this fruit, I actually need to level it up. And the best way to do that is by actually gaining levels as well. So we'll fight eight Isle Outlaws. All right, if I just anger them all on me all at once, what could go wrong. Can you, like, walk down the stairs? There we go. Rhapsody notes. Okay. Oh, wait. It's off cooldown. Never mind. So my tempo meter went down after I used that. What does that mean? What if I charge this up? How about now? Okay. Another one. Oh, another one? I can use it three times. Wait, that's huge. Is that because of my tempo? Like, I keep a high tempo going. I can use it more time. Who knows? All that I know is it does damage. Oh, wait. Hold on. I got, like, a speed boost and, like, a musical barrier thing. <laughs> Wait, this actually does damage for a starting fruit. Usually the Z moves of new fruits are absolutely terrible. Oh, they're so nearly dead. And we could just keep the tempo going the whole time. Wait, this is sick. There we go. Oh, so much mastery. We already got our second move, Fortissimo. That's right. I know musical words. Uh, let's see what this one does. And how much of a tempo meter does this one give us? Let's see. Let's aggro him and him. Wait, it's a huge spread. Fortissimo. Ooh. Yeah, wait, the musical notes spread is actually huge. And Fortissimo just does like big damage. Wait, this fruit is actually very cool. It seems like if you want to get max tempo meter, though, you really got to spam the moves. Yeah, and it drops so fast. There we go. Tempo. Yep. That's right. I'm musical and stuff now. Wait, 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 wait. Fortissimo just changed when I was in uh, my tempo mode. Wait, I need to get my musical man mode back. Music man mode. Wait, I'm not even close. Wait, what? Where'd they go? Wait, what? I sent them to the back rooms or something. Wait, hang on. That must be a bug. Bu 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 right, here we go. Here we go. Max tempo. Easily. And then Fortissimo. Oh, it goes yellow and, like, does more damage. Maybe keeps my uh, tempo meter higher. This right here, this is the power of music. This fruit is so sick so far, and we haven't even got our third move yet. Symphonic Radiance. The AoE. Wait, we got a new move. Symphonic Radiance. <laughs> it's just a disco. Wait, that's sick. I want to see what the Symphonic Radiance does, though, when I've not got my tempo move. All right, here we go, here we go. Symphonic Radiance. Oh, that's so cool. 10,000 damage, and it does, like, splash damage as well. Wait, the AoE actually seems really good. Hold on. What if I place it here? Can I hit all three of those mobs? Here we go. I can. Wow. I wonder what Glorious <laughs> Harmony is going to do. I mean, we get Retissimo first, which I'm guessing since it's an F skill is like a movement ability. I didn't even watch the trailer, so I'm super confused about what like... Yeah, like what was that? There was like a mini explosion. I've never actually seen what the sound fruit can do. So this is basically my first time seeing it. And it seems very good. However, I'm noticing a slight problem with this area and maybe this fruit in general. It is so slow leveling here. Like we'd have to keep on fighting these island outlaws until level 2475. That's too many levels. So instead, we'll go find some bosses. And because I don't have my movement skill yet, we got to do everything by boat. So we'll start with the bosses on Turtle Island because there's like three really good ones we can fight. But we need to get there safely because I'm still trying to get revenge on the seas. I want to find and defeat the Leviathan. So maybe sound will help me do that since I failed miserably to find the Leviathan and take it down with the mammoth fruit already. I've got an idea. I know exactly which boss I'm fighting. This sea move is going to work perfectly in here. Ligma, you're not ready. This is literally the perfect disco area. <laughs> Whoa, wait, how did I do that? I just did something really cool. I feel like these moves have charged moves. Let me hold this down. Nope, that one doesn't. What about this? No charge move there. Right, I am taking damage. Ow. How was that not full? Uh-oh, dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Where is he? Over there. No, I miss. I missed my timing. Ow. With only three moves, I've already... Wow, I beat Ligma, and we're six mastery away from getting this tempo move. All right, next on the agenda, Captain Elephant. Usually a very tough boss to fight, but who knows? With the power of music, this could be super easy. I haven't been able to fill up the tempo meter once, though, since that I Island. Am I just like missing all my attacks or something? It's so close. It's so close. You are kidding me. Wait, hold on. Did that final explosion, did that go where my mouse was? Wait, hold on. We got to be testing something here. If I do this, and I aim my mouse there. Aim my mouse. Oh, wait a sec. I'm discovering hidden sound fruit tech. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're in musical mode. This mode is so cool. All right, what if I aim it while it's yellow? Yeah, that's big. Yes, new skill available. That's what I'm looking for. Extra stat points in. Tempo Rattissimo. Ooh. Wait, I'm like skating on music notes. That's sick. Does it do damage though? Oh, and it builds the tempo meter as well? Oh, wait, that might be the play. Let's see if it does damage. I can't tell if this is doing damage or if I'm just like moving crazy. I think this might just be a, like it says, a tempo builder. In which case, I don't want to be fighting the beautiful pirate because I will get destroyed. All right, here goes. We need to find Cake Queen over there. I think I could take on just about any sea beast that comes at me right now. Cake Queen. 
queen versus a sound sound man. I think this is going to give me a lot of mastery. I don't know if it's going to get me all the way to my final move, but it'll be a lot at least. Rhapsody notes. Yes. Now we start the disco. This fruit is so cool. Oh, I keep forgetting I got to look with that one. I'm learning. Wait, you could wombo combo people with this fruit. No, 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 no. New fruit might be very cool, but it's not helping skill issue. Keep the tempo up. Keep the tempo up. Because we only need 250 mastery. This should be all that we need for glorious harmony, which as the name suggests, it better be good. Yes, new skill. Okay, now that we've got this skill, it's time for some revenge. We're going sea beast hunting. In fact, the Leviathan, he's mine. He's toast. He's done for. Where's Tiki Island? Where's the new island? Is it that? I think it's that. Okay, okay. I found the dangerous water. That's my grand fleet over there. Are they in combat with sea beasts? Don't worry, guys. Help is on the way with my sound fruit. That's about it. That's all I've got going for me. There's no danger in this part of the sea. Like, literally nothing. I might not have been able to find the Leviathan with the mammoth. Like, it's crazy. Nobody really knows how to actually summon a Leviathan. Everybody's just kind of brute forcing it and hoping for the best. But we assume that it spawns in the question mark, question mark, question mark danger level, which makes sense. Okay, bruh, how far did my crew go? What? Okay, danger level three. We've got rough seas, is this? Like, it's raining like crazy. Ow. Just got struck by lightning. Ow. Serpentine. Serpentine. Can I use my musical moves, like, while on the boat? No. Extreme danger level. We're getting there. I've made it. I've made it to the boys. Fish crew members. Where's the danger? Bruh! I got hit by a brigade. I'm running away. I'm running away. Best believe we're in crazy danger right now. Extreme Terror Shark Raid Boss. All right then, Terror Shark. Time for you to meet sound. Rhapsody Notes. Oh, it's red. Disco time. Now my new move. Glorious Harmony. Oh my. Wait, that looks sick. Whoa. Was that me? Oh no, that's a sea beast. Don't worry, boys. I'll take down the sea beast. I can't fly. Use one of these. Why are there so many sea beasts? Why are there so many sea beasts? Is the Terror Shark dead yet? Glorious Harmony. What? What? That's not even in my full tempo meter mode as well. I need to give my boys the music man mode. There we go. There's one sea beast. I'm coming in with the power of music. There we go. Here we go. Glorious harmony. Max level. Oh. oh. Yes. Sea beast has been dealt with. Damn. We destroyed those sea beasts. Honestly, it wasn't even close. To the danger. It's time for us to fight a leviathan. It seems like finding a leviathan is not as easy as you'd think. Oh, well, there goes the sea beast. Oh, there's also a terror shark. Uh, oh, regular sharks as well. Oh, regular sharks are easy. Especially if I just do that. <laughs> nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Never mind Leviathan. I found Treasure Island. Oh, so good. So much loot. So much money. Anything else? Is that it? Wait, was that it? Okay, back to Leviathan hunting. Bro, being at sea in this game now is absolutely insane. There's basically everything but a Leviathan, though. I will find this monster. Or at least I'll try with sound. We've got a full moon right now. Maybe this means that they'll spawn? We might finally see the Captain Levi. All right, we are finding this Leviathan. We have got a grand fleet going on right now. And I'm going to do this all with sound. Okay, that is not ideal. We're in extreme waters. We're going all the way to six. Keep on sailing, boys. We're in crazy waters now. Bruh, we ain't looking for regular sea beasts. Not the regular schmegular kind. Why our boat, bro? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Bruh. Oh my, this is insane. There's a terror shark somewhere. It's so confusing. Like, nobody knows what to do. So we either just like sit and wait in here or we can go, go back. Oh, I did not see that sea beast. Hold on. I want to see what's beyond this. This could be the promised land. Rough sea now as well? There is an entire terror shark war going on over here. All right, they defeated the terror shark. What do we do? I suppose I'll just drive forwards. I can't see a thing and there's another terror shark. This ship gotta go. Wait, this is literally insane. There's like sea beasts everywhere. I'm getting this ship and I'm getting us out of here. Retreat! Question mark C is too scary, bro. Is it nighttime again? Like, it's impossible to see. Can we get uh, something other than a terror shark? Shark? In other words, can we see the Leviathan, please? Is that a ghost ship? Bro, you can't even see them. Oh, I need to regen. Why does everything do so much damage in this area? Bro, I can't drive the ship. What is this? Stand up. How low is the ship? The ship is probably 45 HP. A strong gust of wind and this ship is gone. Am I really gonna not see the Leviathan again? All right, so we're in the regular sea now. There's rumors that there's an icy area that they could spawn in because of what the bribe man says. When you bribe him to get the Leviathan to spawn, there are so many just like regular sharks and stuff. I wish I could see as well. Two thousand years later. We're stranded. stranded. All of our boats have been broken. We're stuck in the question mark area. But next time, we will find this Leviathan.